102 today, just four degrees shy of tying a record. Setback in actually 1939 of 106. Our lows are actually staying warm as well. It was 78 starting out this morning. We're again going to be seeing hot temperatures during the day, even in the morning. And that is why we're seeing a heat advisory pretty much for the northern part of the Concho Valley all the way from now till Saturday night, 8 p.m., when we're going to see probably going to be extending it a little bit more because what we have to worry about with heat advisory is that temperatures are in the triple digits, but with sunshine and some of the humidity, it feels even hotter. So with a breeze from the south not giving us much relief, we're seeing 103 hottest right now at Robert Lee, Sterling City, and 100 at Big Lake, and 101, actually. Then we're looking out towards Coleman 99, 95 Brady, and Mason. Yeah, it looks a little bit cooler out there, but once you take into consideration the humidity, the sunshine out there, we're actually seeing it feels even hotter. 104 here in San Angelo. We're seeing 95 was at Brady. They're feeling like 100. 103 with 96. So it is feeling a lot hotter. We're going to be watching as the National Weather Service probably extends out the area for the heat advisory and the time for it because we're not going to be changing this pattern for the next several days. Tonight, 76. Tomorrow, again, 102. Yes, you might be feeling a little bit of a breeze for 10 to 15 miles per hour, but it's all from the south, so it's a hot breeze. And then looking into our future, not anything going to be budging the thing that's causing us to have all of these triple digits, that high pressure and that upper atmosphere ridge is not moving for us into the weekend. Even into next week, the beginning of it, we're going to see 110, we're going to see 109. We could see that high pressure just decrease in strength a little bit to get us into the low triple digits. So back to a little bit more of 101 and 102. We are trying to watch to see if we're going to have anything in the Atlantic or anything that's going to come from the Pacific to move us out. We saw Christina's just cutting out to Hawaii. We're watching Faye. She's just going to be cutting north, get past Washington, and hit Pennsylvania, New York State, and Vermont, and head north. So for them, we're not going to be seeing any changes, but not coming to Texas at all to give us a break from all of those triple digits. 105 Saturday, 108 on Sunday. Then we're watching Monday and Tuesday of next week, 110 and 109. So we'll have to watch. We're definitely going to be tying and breaking some records into the weekend with those 105s and 108s. But take a look at our lows, 78. We're going to be seeing an 80 rolling into our hottest day yet on Monday. So it's going to be hot and humid to start out. You'll definitely want to take plenty of breaks if you're outside because even though your thermometer might say maybe 105 on Saturday, it's going to feel a lot 